Hi guys, back again with me, Austin from A Boy at Heart, ABBA. Today I'm going to share to you my experience on Hasbro's Towers, the Black Series 6 inch scale Moloch, which is based on the movie Solo, A Star Wars Story. So let's take a look at the packaging first. This is the standard packaging of Black Series, which we have been looking at for several time now. With the artwork at the front, the name, the, the name of the line up here. By the way, the size of the box is slightly bigger than usual, probably because of the size of the figure. Anyway, no numbering, usually it has number. And then there's a little bit of description at the back. If you want to pause and read, please do so. Alright, so this, so this guy is an alien, which is... is a race is part of the alien race called green dalit which essentially space worms but i'm not sure why he has limbs like this anyway let's take a closer look at the figure okay let's compare him to our image reference uh, by the way i think this is the definitive version of this character in six inch scale and this is the only one um, it is somewhat similar to what they portray in the reference image it's just that the difference being these white lines which i'm not sure was that uh, is not supposed to be coming out from the neck but anyway it's it is still a very nice figure the mold is really really good uh, i'll show you that he's hiding his face within this face plate or face armor because this alien race apparently is sensitive to light they will die if they get direct na direct natural light but i like the paint and the scalp on this portion you can see the details and all the wear and tear marks here and there um, all metallic and then i'm not sure whether this is his actual body or another armor we have black marks here but the the scalp is really really nice the ropes he's wearing ropes which is removable uh, I like all the wrinkles and all the shadings effect here and there. He's wearing some sort of kimono styled clothes. Let me remove the rope just for a moment. Dun, 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 dun. By the way, the rope is rubbery, so it's not that hard to remove it. But again for this type of characters with removable ropes a lot of times we don't have the reason to do that because the arms are molded with the ropes on anyway i'll just i'll just take it like that until up to this point it's strawberry um the inside okay inside there's not much paint work there you can see the scalp of the head extends to the back you can see the belt and the rope the inner rope okay by the way this portion also is quite rubbery and the body itself oh, look at the look at the legs there yeah, this, this race is an alien insect-like, worm-like race, so they don't have two legs like man, but uh, no articulation down here. I can feel that it's somewhat rubbery, but anyway. Right, so, okay, the holster is a working holster. We'll see to it later on. Uh, not much on the straps. It's all molded, uh, might be a separate piece, but the belt is molded. 
again okay let us see the glove or the 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 hand the left grip hand hand grip is a gripping hand is for the staff um, not much there it's like a winter glove you know and then this one on the right is the trigger hand to grab the gun with the trigger finger All right not bad and then we'll try to open the face plate this is the gimmick of this figure okay let's try this now this is basically uh, two portions of the the face plate the uh, first one is on uh, down here so you uh, you can somewhat pull it out a little bit like that and then you can remove the top part here but we'll see the face first Ooh, ugly <laughs> but the skull is really nice so that's what he looks like behind the mask or the face plate uh, I like the the scalp is very very nice as always look at all the details there the paint is also nice I think uh, it's good it's good down here there's a gap there and a hole and a gap uh, kind of a hinge which allows this lower part of the face plate to move a little bit like that but other than that nothing much now the face plate or the face armor is not the best thing in the world uh, you can somewhat pull the bottom part here to some extent uh, again not the best thing in the world the, it, this cable somewhat connects inside uh, this part this dome part so it won't be removed see there oh, let me there's that part that goes deep inside there okay and then where is there and then this part the top part you can see that there is there are gaps here on the left one and on the right side Mm, which I think is supposed to it's not really clear here but I can see that there is a little bit of molded pieces there which suppose uh, kind of a gap which allows this portion of the oops this portion of the face plate to kind of clip on it and hold it hold on it okay so let's try to put it on a little bit let's see right I'll try to put this in first so what we need to do uh, we just need to place all the uh, the parts here according to the gap down here all right let me try to push the bottom portion all right so what I do normally you cannot really close up all the gaps in mine at least perhaps yours is possible but at the very least I try to put this portion both side both on the right and on the left uh, to line up with the with the uh, shape which is provided so again not the prettiest thing <sighs> for his accessories we are being given not only the face plate but also this stuff look at that nasty man Ooh, but I like the the mold and the paint it's really nice okay uh, it's not that rubbery so you might break it be careful but it's it's really nice you can somewhat put it 
on his left palm. Uh, all right, easy peasy, and it works, and it will hold. By the way, all right. Then the next one is this small blaster. Is a double barrel blaster which mold is not that oh yeah it's really nice actually with the trigger hole on it a little bit a little bit of brown paint on the uh, grip gripping part and yeah I think the metallic paint looks not uh, not not that amazing but it's nice it works well on the right palm. Let's try it on. Okay. All right. As you can see, the trigger finger is inside the trigger hole. So it works very nice and it holds very nice as well. Let's try to put it on the, by the way, this one is also not very rubbery. So be careful when you're playing with it, you might break it. Let's try to put it on the holster. Okay, fits nicely, but all right, not bad. For the articulation, I'm not sure whether this part on the head, uh, the actual head, can move. It seems that there is a little bit of movement there, but not much. Mm, not sure. Okay, but it's there. See a little bit of movement left and right, perhaps up and down a little bit. All right. Uh, I tried but nothing much on this area, uh, we'll go to this part first, this abdomen, it should, well, you see the gap, the gap uh, on top of the belt, we can move it around, I think it's a kind of a ball joint, so we are supposed to be able to move it around 360, but because of this white thing, not really white, kind of yellowish thing, bone white thing. We cannot do that. Uh, let me see side to side that much. Uh, to the front and back that much. All right, nothing here. No rocker ankle, no nothing. Then on the arms, we have a ball hinge joint here. I'll try to do it with the rope on because that's the whole point, isn't it? Uh, you can move it up this much okay can turn it around 360 and then on top of the bicep here you have rotation and you can bend it not 90 degrees and on the on the on the hand grip you can on the palm you can turn it around 360 on the wrist sorry and then there's a little bit of hinge there. Can you see it? Which allows it to move downward and upward, not so much. Let's see this, this side. Um, yep, there is a hinge there. So upward a little bit, downward a little bit. And that's all for the articulation. Okay, to the top of his helmet, I guess. Moloch stands for roughly, is it six and a half inch or around 16 and a half centimeters? Something like that. Let's compare to the several figures. This is compared to a Black Series Stormtrooper, and then 
This is compared to a death trooper. And of course, compared to range trooper from the same movie. Oh, what happened? And compared to a Marvel Legends scale of figure. Sometimes we have to appreciate that Hasbro is still uh, willing to create this kind of additional supporting character into a figure. Um, the helmet or faceplate or whatever you want to call it is a pain. It's very hard to fit, uh, to make it fit nicely uh, to me personally. Uh, articulation is lacking but you can see why other than that it's a cool nice figure the accessories the gun and both the stuff is working very nicely uh, I think it's a quite a nice figure and it has a presence too yes it doesn't have that much actions which is I think that's how the character uh, is in the movie but he has uh, quite a presence, which is really, really cool. Okay, and look at that. So thanks guys for watching until the end. If you like the video, please uh, like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell for more updates. If you, you can share also, and, and you can always contact me on Instagram if you want to chat more about action figure. Until next time, ciao.